right, Mr. Martin, good morning, sir. Ms. Manorino, good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. All righty. This is case 231510OT. And uh, today, date and time set for a settlement conference. Parties uh, have an opportunity to discuss the matter. Good morning, Your Honor. Angela Manorino on behalf of the people. Your Honor, I did have an opportunity to hear Mr. Martin's position on the issue while we were in the breakout room. Um, he requested that I dismiss the case. The people are unwilling to do so and would ask that the court set this for a trial. So, we've already had the motion to dismiss. Get the uh, and this is the uh, motion on the demand for the body cam footage. Is that correct, Mr. Martin? Yeah, that's one of the things I recently filed amongst some others. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so this is a is there body cam footage, Miss Manorino? Your Honor, I believe there is, and if the court wants to enter a discovery order in this matter, um, I think that would allow Mr. Martin to have access to the video that he's taken. All righty, so let me just make sure that there's... Cam. All right, so I will enter the order. Uh, for discovery, and then Mr. Martin, you can uh, request that from the, once you get a copy of the order, um, you can request that from the, from the PD. Now, as far as the, uh, as far as the moving forward goes, because obviously Mr. Martin's going to need to watch the video to further whatever prepare for his case. So we just are we setting this for a uh, jury trial, bench trial, or a settlement I'm conference? Not clear about what you're saying about the discovery. You just said something about I can get it from the PD after an order. So I'm not clear on what you're saying. I can't tell you how to practice law, sir. So I can't tell you how to go about that. I'm going I'm to enter an order for discovery. Right. And then you take your steps to get the discovery. All right. So, so uh, the order that'd be given to it, if you're just going to tell me I can go to the records office and get that's not uh providing me with the information, I'm not telling you how to do it, sir. I'm just telling you I'm more entering an order uh, whereby you'll be able to get the uh, gather information uh, that you need to for your case. So, all right, we'll just see when it comes in, but uh, like I said, you're just not being totally clear on uh, what's that going to be or whatever, but uh. So I can't possibly object to it now. If anything, I have to wait and see what your written order says. But okay. So, right. so we're gonna set this up for. Are we setting this for a uh, bench trial, a jury trial? If need to, well, first I'm object to. Uh, I don't think I can get a uh, a jury. A jury trial is one by one's peers, and I don't think that's gonna be a good be obtained because I doubt if I can find a jury of my peers, which would be those that who acknowledge as uh, one of the people, sovereign people, mostly everyone's probably, if not every jury member would say. That's not how it works, but I'm just telling you, that's not how it works. You have to get back on Google and Google whatever other story you want to come up with. Um, peers just means anybody who's over the age of 18 who lives here in the city of Taylor, uh, that's your peers. Who are also registered voters. Uh, that's where the jury pool comes from. That's what the, the Constitution allows for. Um, they don't have to be, when you say like minded, that doesn't mean that they have to subscribe to some archaic form of the Constitution that isn't how it actually reads. Uh, and I'm a pure constitutionalist myself, so um, I get that. But that's not what that, that's not, that, absolutely not what it means. Not to mention, I can't tell people, I can't exclude people from a jury pool because they have a constitutional right to serve on the jury. And that would actually be violating their constitutional rights if I asked them whether or not they subscribe to some sort of sovereign citizen 
theory of the Constitution and then exclude them because of their beliefs. That's literally unconstitutional to do that. So what you're asking me to do is something unconstitutional. You will have a constitutional jury of your peers as it has been declared by the United States Supreme Court of how that works. So are you, are you requesting a jury trial or a bench trial? That's the simple question. If I request a jury trial, would it be fraudulently presumed that I'm giving jurisdiction? Say again. If I request, if I say I want a jury trial, is that going to be fraudulently assumed by you that uh, you have jurisdiction over me? First off, I already established that I have jurisdiction over you. You committed a crime in the city of Taylor. I have jurisdiction over you. you Court does. Case. So we already discussed that part. You can uh, you can order the transcripts from that first uh, first time when we already went through jurisdiction. If you didn't uh, if you didn't understand it from there, uh, we can you can always order the transcripts and reread it. Uh, but clearly, I already have jurisdiction. So and I don't fraudulently assume anything. Everything I do is done because I was elected to be the judge here. I am sworn in as the judge here. I uphold the Constitution. Matter of fact, I keep a copy of my oath right here on the bench. Why? Because I, it means a lot to me. So there's nothing fraudulent about anything that I do, sir. I will tell you this: you will get a uh, you will get a fair trial. That's, that's for sure. That's why, because that's what the Constitution requires for everybody to get. And so, if you're implying anything other than that, that's not going to happen. So, again, jury trial or bench trial? I need to set it for one or the other, sir. I object to uh, the, the the truth that you're asserting. I, I don't I don't uh, agree that that's true. What you said there, um, but sure. if uh, I'm going to force the hand, like I said, uh, it's going to be a jury. Um, All right, so jury trial it is. But I'm gonna so I'll set that. Go ahead. It's only through fraud and duress do I say that. So that's all I'm under here. Fraud and duress. Okay. Well, first off, there's nobody, uh, there is no fraud, nor duress. You're sitting in your own home. You're on Zoom. There's nobody twisting your arm. No one's holding any weapon to, to you in order to necessitate a duress uh, type of thing. And um, basically, I gave you a choice. Do you want a bench trial or a jury trial? So there, it was up to you to pick, and you wanted a jury trial. There's nothing wrong with that. You have a constitutional right to set jury trial, and we'll make that happen. So, again, nothing but due process and fairness happening here. So. We're going to set this for a jury trial. And you'll be receiving notice in the mail when that will be. Thank you. I'll also Ryan. be mailing out a copy of the uh, scheduling order. Have a good day, sir. Uh, I'll say happy thank happy you, New Year's. You always just talk. You don't give a person a response. And then you say how something ain't uh, threatened arrest. But you don't but give no, when, when I make a ruling on something, a ruling is literally there's no response to it. That's just... That's what the ruling is. So the ruling is, I'm going to set it for a jury trial. Um, your motion to for your motion for discovery is granted. I'm going to send out a, a, an order for the discovery, and um, there's really no other response needed other than uh, Happy New Year. You'll get your date in the mail for the jury trial, and you'll get a copy of the uh, order in the mail. No, that's clearly okay. obvious. Fair to say there's no response. That's saying what I say is that, and that's it. There's nothing to say about it. Obviously, you don't believe in the Constitution too much because you're not giving me my due process right to say what I have to say. Mean well, first say off, listen, listen, listen. If you're just gonna, if you're just gonna needlessly jabber about things that have nothing to do with anything of the case, um, you've already won your motion. So I'm not really sure what more you need to make a record on. I literally said, "Hey, we're gonna enter a, we're gonna enter an order for discovery. You request a discovery." by a motion, and I'm granting discovery. So there's really no more record to be made other than if you want to say something like, uh, yay, I won, or something like that. But um, there's nothing more to add to that. If it's about the facts of the case, this is not the time or the place to talk about the facts of the case. That's what the whole point of a trial is for. And then you can prove your case to, you, well, you don't have to prove anything. The prosecution has to prove their case you can present things or you can remain silent. You have the right to do that. You can be a witness for yourself. You can do that if you choose. Um, so with regard to that, that's uh, that's how that's how we're going to proceed. And then um, so we're going to send out again the jury trial notice in the mail and you'll receive it at that point. In the meantime, stay safe. Have a blessed day and a happy new year, sir.
Yeah, well, I'm not done yet. 